Hello, I'm Harish. I'm super excited to demonstrate custom admin roles. In this live demo, I'll be using custom admin roles to solve a couple of interesting scenarios. To get started, let me provide a quick overview. Custom admin roles introduce further flexibility, security, and scale. Organizations have the flexibility to customize administration roles following the principle of least privilege, enabling delegation and collaboration with ease. Now let's get started with our first scenario. Atco Inc. is a global company. The U.S. help desk team at Atco Inc. provides technology support for employees based out of the United States. Members of the help desk team are assigned the standard help desk administrator role, which provides them with access for help desk functions. The help desk team does not have the ability to edit user profiles. Currently providing them with this access would require a more permissive admin role posing a high security risk. Atco Inc. just learned about Okta's custom admin roles. Atco Inc. wants to implement this new feature to improve productivity and efficiency by providing Alex, a member of the help desk team, the ability to edit user profiles of employees in the sales team. Following the principles of least privilege, I will demonstrate how an Okta super admin can configure Alex with the required access in three steps. Step one, Create a resource set with a user resource constrained to the group that contains all the sales employees based out of the United States. Step two, create a custom role to edit user profile attributes. Step three, assign the custom role created in step two to Alex, constrained by the resource set created in step one. This scenario has two different user experiences. One, as Harish, Okta Super Admin, at Atco Inc. configuring custom admin roles without granting overly permissive access. And Alex, part of Atco Inc. helped us team. Now let's get started with the live demo. For demonstration purposes, I've logged in as Alex Wilbur, member of the help desk team at Atco Inc. After successful login, Alex is able to look at all the different users based out of the United States. Alex is able to perform help desk operations like resetting passwords and additional actions here. However, Alex is not able to modify the user profile. Now, I'm going to switch over as myself, Okta Super Admin at Atco Inc. I will now create a custom admin role to allow Alex to edit user profiles of employees in the sales team. After successful login, I'm able to see different groups. Currently, there are four employees based on the United States, and we have one employee part of the sales team, and that's Adam Sims. To create a custom admin role, I need to navigate to security and click on administrators. In the interest of time, I've gone ahead and completed step one and step two. Let me share with you what I have so far. I've created a resource set of type users and constrained that to the sales employees based on the United States. I've also created a custom admin role to edit user profiles. Now let's get started with step three. As stated in step three, I'm gonna now go ahead and assign this custom admin role to Alex and constrain that to the resource set I created earlier. Let me go ahead and save the changes. Right. Now I'm going to switch back as Alex and um, reload my page right here. Now Alex is able to edit the user profiles of the users in the sales team. So if Alex were to go and click on the user profile of another employee not in the sales team, he will just not have the required access. And this is expected behavior. Now let's continue to build on the earlier scenario. Alex is now promoted as a team lead and he needs to now manage membership of the sales team. Following the principle of least privilege, I will demonstrate how an Okta super admin can configure Alex with the required access in three steps. Step one, you create a resource set with two resources. A user resource, since Alex will need to edit users group membership of all employees based on the United States. And a group resource, since Alex will need to manage group membership 
which is a permission on the group. Step two, create a custom role to edit users group membership and manage group membership. Step three, assign the custom role created in step two to Alex, constrained to the newly created resource set created in step one. Now let's get back to the live demo. I have now logged in as myself, Akta Super Admin. In the interest of time, I've completed step one and step two. Let me walk you through what I have so far. I've created this resource set of type user and group and assigned the right set of constraints to both these resources. I've also created a custom admin role to edit users group membership and manage group membership. Now let's get started with step three. For step three, I'm going to go ahead and assign the custom role I have created to Alex and constrain it with the resource set I created in step one. Let me go ahead and save my changes. For demonstration purpose, I'll lock back in as Alex Wilbur, member of the help desk team at Atco Inc. Let me go ahead and reload the page. Now Alex has access to the Sales Employees USA group. With this new custom admin role, he can view membership to this group and also assign people to this group. He is now provided a list of members from the All Employees USA group from where he can add members or remove members. Alex now has access to manage Sales Employees USA group. Let's recap. Custom admin roles offers flexibility and security by taking a least privileged approach Granular permissions. During this demo, you noticed how custom admin roles can be combined with standard roles to provide incremental access. During this demo, you also noticed how user and group permissions can be combined to address more complex delegated administration needs. Thank you.